Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Hey everybody, what is up? It is Stan the Man, and welcome back to another Stan the Man podcast. It's Sunday, the 23rd of January, 2000 and goddamn 22. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing just fine. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Again, I'm like that fu- I'm, I'm, I'm like that couch surfing dad who just goes out to buy cigarettes and just doesn't come back. I only come back when my son's like either a successful businessman or a skater and I need to crash onto his couch for a couple of days. But nah, that's not the case. I actually came back from vacation. Back on December 18th, I left Aruba to go on a very lovely vacation, spend the holidays with my family and girlfriend in the Netherlands. And to be honest, I had a fucking blast. It was amazing. All right. Oh my God. I, okay. It's been a while since I left the Caribbean in general and I just wanted to get out. I just wanted to leave for a little bit. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. I, I missed the fuck out of my girlfriend, which is why I just really wanted to go see her. All right. Call me a goddamn simp. I don't care. But no, we had a freaking great time. All right. I had a blast, even though I went to the Netherlands just smack dab in the middle of the Omicron, uh, well, the Omicron wave over there. Everything was closed. What do I mean by that, okay? Nothing was open. I arrived just when the lockdown was imposed, so shops, clo- shops closed. If you wanted to, like, grab something from, I don't know, Cool Blue, H&M, or Manfield, I got these sweet new boots from Manfield, by the way, um, you had to go, you had to do something called click and collect, which basically means you would go online, you'd go online and you would order what you want. And then you would call the store that you were going to pick it up at because most of the places are like chains and stuff like that, that multiple stores throughout the fucking country. So you would choose what store you wanted to go to and you would head to that store pay and pick up whatever the hell you ordered. And I ordered a lot of things while I was in in the Netherlands. For example, you guys remember, for those who've been looking at the podcast for a very long time, you guys remember, remember when I started this video version that I constantly had to stop recording and reset the camera simply because, and I am not joking, the Fujifilm X-T30 has a 15 minute recording time limit. Now, Uh, excuse me, (laughs) that is completely gone. Uh, I was finally able to find a Camlink 4K from the company Elgato. Domo arigato, Mr. Elgato. That was fucking cringe. I don't know why the hell did I say it like that. But anywho, I found a Camlink, so I can now use my main camera over here, what you're seeing as a, well, webcam, and it's recording. Let me double check it. Yeah, it is currently still recording directly into my computer, and that is a godsend. I don't have to worry about pausing it every 15 minutes. This is going to save me a hell of a lot more time when it comes to editing and everything else. Let me just make sure Audacity is still recording. By the way, if you notice a sudden jump in audio quality, I have a legally acquired version of Adobe Audition right now. It just makes vocal processing a lot easier. I love FL Studio, I really do, but I just use FL Studio to make jingles for commercials and stuff like that. So what did we do in the Netherlands, okay? Even though everything even though everything was like closed, I had a lot of fun just walking through the streets of Den Haag, or what you, got, what you guys call, in English it's called The Hague. Okay, I walked around in The Hague, Rotterdam, Scheveningen, um, where else? Yeah, and Maastricht. Now, eventually, we ended up, well, my brother, it was his idea. While I was staying, while well, me and my girlfriend, we were staying at my brother's place in Maastricht, and they had this lovely idea of renting a car, and then we would just drive around. We went through Belgium. We saw the Drie Landspunt. Uh, the Drie Landspunt is basically a point where three European countries, uh, Belgium, Na- Belgium, the Netherlands, <laughs> Belgium, the Netherlands, and also Germany meet each other in in one point. We also went to this place um, somewhere in Zan. I think it's called Zanam. I forgot the fucking name. It's okay. It's either it's Dutch, so it's either full of A's or full of G's. The Dutch are not exactly a fan of vowels, so it's mostly gonna sound like. <laughs> I gotta stop making jokes like that. 
Anywho, <laughs> we went to this place that had like a bunch of wind, old fashioned windmills and it was really freaking cool. It, it did. It also helped that it was misty as hell that day. It looked like we were walking into Silent Hill. I can just hear Pyramid Head just just freaking nipping at our necks the whole freaking time. Uh, and also, you know, tried vlogging. I tried my hand at vlogging. I have a Ronin SC2 gimbal so I can film with the X-T30 because the X-T30 has great filming capabilities. And to be honest, it was unheavy. It was, it was un huh, huh. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I have, I think I have dyslexia, but when I speak, huh. anywho, okay. The Ronin SC2 is a great gimbal, great for stabilizing footage and everything, but it is a tad heavy. I'm not gonna lie, when I freaking switched the thing into selfie mode, it was it was trying it was like trying to freaking hold a Winnebago at the other end of my arm. That's basically what this is. And keep in mind, I'm using a I'm using a freaking thir I'm no, it's not a 35 millimeter. Yes, it is a small lens. It is a freaking 35 millimeter lens. It is tiny okay now imagine if you added like a big wide angle lens or even a telezoom lens on this thing it's basically you're basically holding a winnebago at the other end of a stick got that my, my front del got a fucking huge workout over there um what else did we do oh yeah we ended up going to this german town called Monschau, and he only said Monstat because they played a shit ton of genshin impact um but it's it's a it's like a quaint yeah, it's quaint but no, it is a very nice town, like cobblestone streets and everything. No house in that town is less than 300 years old. I mean, seriously, folks, if you have, and this is like, we're in the middle of winter. It's cold. It's wet. I am freaking loving it in there. I am loving the wintertime in Europe. Well, that part of Europe where we basically went to. And it was the only place where we had, and there was, everything open then Germany was not exactly in a hard lockdown like it's like it's a neighbor the Netherlands and thus restaurants were open as long as you had a certificate indicating that you were fully vaccinated I am currently fully vaccinated in fact had my booster shot a couple of days ago but that's a topic for another day so we're over there and eventually my brother we well, my brother and his girlfriend we saw this restaurant and we wanted to go in there this is line to get into the restaurant and there's we made it inside and eventually that we hear like some sort of fucking commotion going on inside i don't know maybe somebody had like i think somebody had an issue with their qr code or some shit i'm not really sure but <laughs> we're all getting impatient because we're all hungry right and then all of a sudden the lady comes back out and it's like yeah we're full and my brother freaking loses it it's like we waited we fucking waited there for i don't know 15 minutes only for this lady to come out and say yeah we're full <laughs> oh man he was he was not a happy camper <laughs> nah but there was this river through this town and to me now, keep in mind, there was a river floating through this town. Now, keep in mind, I grew up on a tiny island with no permanent water source. Okay, the only permanent source of water that we have here is the Caribbean Sea that surrounds us, okay? And the oof, the rivers, okay, the rivers that we have, we call them Roy. They're about as, oh my, oh boy, they're about as dry as freaking Donald Trump's wife's cunt. Anywho, it's... It, to me, it's like astonishing to have this river just flowing through the town. And that just made it really freaking great. But yeah, the other creeks here on the island, okay, they're about as dry as YouTube pranksters fucking acting or some shit. Anywho, ah, man, warm versus the cold, warm versus the cold, okay? All right, now... As I mentioned, I lived all my life in the Caribbean, in Aruba to be exact, which is hotter than most islands here. In fact, we get little to no rainfall in during the year. It's basically a desert. It's basically a small speck of very dry dirt in the southern Caribbean, right? And well, okay, it's hot. It's fucking hot all the time. I get sweaty insanely quickly insanely quick what the grammar stan focus focus buddy anywho i get i get sweaty insane insanely quick okay i do not like being sweaty okay while all the, all this okay we, we've been doing all of this okay we went to okay we went to germany we drove through belgium we went to the dreelandspunt and everything all of this 
and the temperature was never going it, it was never showing double digits on the thermo on any thermometer and of course you'll hear fucking you'll hear people freaking bitch moaning and complaining about the cold like oh my god it's too cold man i damn I am. You guys are gonna want to hear this. Hear me for this, okay? You you want to know what I you want to know when I hear what I want to do when I hear people like that? They go like, "Oh my god, it's too cold." Shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up, all right? The people who fucking complain about the cold, they don't have to live with sweat dripping down their gooch every 20 goddamn seconds. They don't have to live showering two to three times a day because your armpits are going to smell like a freaking cesspool after just standing outside for 20 goddamn minutes. All right. Why are the people in? Why are the people who live in cold countries so? Oh God, peaking, peaking. Sorry. <laughs> why are people who live in cold countries just so fucking miserable? I don't understand. I even ran in negative two centigrade. Okay, keep in mind, the Dutch winter is very mild in comparison to other places that I've been to. Okay. But I ran in I ran in freezing temperatures, and those are some of the best runs I've ever had so far. There was this moment where and there was this moment we're running me, me and me and a few family members. We are running in this place called Zuide Park in Den Haag, in The Hague, and it was raining. It's raining. It's windy. It's raining. It's windy, and I feel great. I got basically nothing on, just a dry fit shirt and some sweatpants, and we're running. We're running. We're running, and eventually we stop, and I notice I can't move my fingers are basically locked i can't move them and then i realized that okay when it does get cold uh when it does get cold your body basically gets rid of the blood from your extremities and sends it into your core okay it's into your well internal organs to make sure you don't fucking freeze to death but still it was it was it was still kind of fun as i mentioned before okay you're i'm I might like add some of the videos that I tried here. I, I tried vlogging while I was over while I was over in Europe. I tried vlogging and that oh man, I failed. I failed fucking miserably at that man. I'm not. I'm no fucking Casey Neistat. Okay, and it doesn't help that this camera, this gimbal, and everything else just fucking weighs a ton. I can keep making comparison to it. Comparisons, okay. I already said it basically feels like you're holding a Winnebago at the end of a stick. And it also, it, I can also say it feels like I don't know. You're freaking holding. You're freaking holding an elephant or some shit. It's, it's, it's unhandy. It's freaking unhandy. But yeah, it was. I fucking enjoyed my time over there. Uh, the rest of the time, okay. The mo Sorry, most of my time was spent in the Hague. However, since my girlfriend lives there, and there were some weird moments. Okay, one day I'm walking walking around the center of Den Haag. Okay, and there was this dude just aggressively singing and i don't mean i and i don't mean this in a way that he was a street performer nah this dude looked like he got hit by a train and just walked away his clothes all torn and stuff like that but he is aggressively singing i mean like, oh salabi, oh, some shit like that and i don't know oh man this poor freaking lady this poor <laughs> All right, this poor lady who was just trying, who was just trying to help out, just went up to him and asked. I think he, I think she tried asking him if you know he was okay, and this dude responded by singing even more aggressively, but this time to this lady's face. And he's uh, the, the poor the the poor woman was like, "Hey, excuse me, sir, are you are you all right? Do you need some help?" The dude just goes. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry for the I'm sorry for the audio but the, the <laughs> before you feel bad for this lady okay the, there is some there is some funny going on over here what do I mean by this is that this poor woman I thought oh nah she's getting yelled at and then I gotta look at her face the whole time the dude is just literally just aggressive he's like screaming some song in her face she she's just like she's just like that that spongebob meme where his face just looks dead as if she dealt with she has dealt with this situation 
thousands of times before in her life. But yeah, that was basically my story in the Netherlands in a nutshell. But yeah, it's a new year. It's a new year. We are nearly entering a third year in the COVID-19 pandemic now going on the Omicron variant. Ah, water is very important. 2022, the year already started off with a, the year kind of already started off with a big bang. There was a volcanic eruption near the island of near the island of Tonga which basically causes tsunami that nearly wiped the freaking island out okay and I'm I'm exaggerating here but the island was without communications for a good few days though because well the okay the undersea internet cable basically got disconnected it basically got destroyed during the eruption basically just leading this island to be completely in the dark for I don't know I haven't checked the news yet but apparently the island's been in the dark for a very long time and nobody has any idea what the hell has been going on over there simply because there is no way of getting any communication through to that island. So yeah, the year the year isn't exactly off to a pleasant start. Okay. The Pacific is once again becoming the powder keg of the world with China constantly making power moves towards Taiwan. And I think Russia might be in favor for that because I don't think Russia wants another NATO stronghold, especially approaching on its eastern front, if you catch my drift. I don't know. Um, there's also Russia moving troops near the Ukraine. Near the Ukraine, that's a uh, oh boy. I think people I think people might be reading too much into that situation, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, having Russian influence or communistic influences that close to Europe in general, I don't, I'm not sure that's a good idea over there, but I think people might be overreacting to that. And, okay, what about COVID? Fucking, what about COVID and this fucking bullshit that we've been experiencing for the last, I don't know, yeah, nearly three years. Well, first, let me check out from... Okay, let me show you, like, my 2022 predictions, okay? And this is not a prediction right here, okay? In 2022, I have a lot of shit planned, okay? I really want to hammer down on my creative hobbies this year, hence why I got all this stuff to upgrade the podcast, okay? My creative hobbies include this YouTube channel, so I really want to try to upgrade the content that I'm putting out here, not just podcasts and stuff like that, but I want to make videos, Okay, I want to make I want to make some decent stuff on here. I've been hammering down on my photography. I've been hammering down on my photography. I've been taking a lot more cheap photography, especially with this freaking camera right over here. It's really fucking fantastic. Uh, but also when it comes to my work life, okay, if all goes well, I might be heading to the Netherlands again soon. But that is a topic for another time. Now let's talk about hmm. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Before I, I nearly fucking forgot. I, I'm, I'm slowly taking small steps away from social media. I've already deleted my Facebook. My Facebook is gone. Okay, and some of you are like, "Who uses Facebook?" I'm on Twitter, man. I've never, I've never had a Twitter before. Actually, no, I do have Twitter. I don't think I've ever used it. Have I used Twitter? I gotta fucking find out. But I think I do have a Twitter somewhere. I gotta get rid of that too. When, um, wait, wait a minute, no I don't, I don't fucking use it anyway, but even though I've been like recently stepping away from social media, like, I don't know, I just couldn't, I couldn't stand like, I couldn't stand the constant, oh look at how great my life is, hashtag blessed, or then, or you can move on to the other end of the spectrum and fucking find people who complain, oh look how terrible my life is, while I drink my Starbucks coffee and some poor kid in Syria has to dodge bullets just to go to class. Yeah, your life is very terrible there, sunshine. <laughs> that's um, that's going to be another video altogether. The shit I've been seeing, oh god, especially I was tempted to download TikTok for the podcast. I was tempted to download the shit that shit for for the podcast and I chose not to. Why? The amount of crap I saw on there. there are, okay, there are a lot of good stuff on TikTok. Yeah, I will give it the benefit of, benefit of the doubt. There is a lot of great content 
on TikTok, but most of it is buried underneath a mountain of freaking dream stands, BTS stands, My Hero Academia pussies, and fucking what else? Oh yeah, people faking disorders. It's not nah, just, and you want to know the worst part about it? Most of these people who are doing this shit, they're kids, man. They're not okay. They're you can't even call them people yet because they're not even they're not even old enough to make re, they're not even old enough to make good conscious decisions yet. They are kids, and also you have even more fucked up people promoting more fucked up shit to kids and kids accepting that. Look at zoophilia, for example, zoophiles or whatever the fuck it's called. They are people who are into fucking animals or being attracted to animals on TikTok, and they are fucking promoting that even on Twitter and shit. I'm like, why? Why are we allowing this to happen? But yeah, but yeah. Anywho, moving on. Another prediction for 2022 in regards to this whole COVID situation. Okay, but before I get started about the whole COVID situation, I'm going to have to take you guys back. I'm going to have to take you guys back a few years ago when this shit show first started. I made a few jokes about it. Okay, when this first started out, I made a few jokes about it, even though, okay, I even criticized the local gov. I think the video is still on here. I criticized the local government here on Aruba for putting more attention to the coronavirus, which was half a world away during that stage, okay? Okay, then on the case of a tourist, yeah, of a tourist who stuck his hand, his hand down the pants of an underage girl. What happened to that tourist? He got off scot-free. He basically just left with a fucking slap on the wrist like, all right, Junior, don't do that again. Freaking get out of here. <sighs> Oh my god. Look, even though I'm even though I knew the threat of this new virus becoming a pandemic, even though I knew the threat that this virus could become a pandemic was very and I mean very real, I still decided to not pay it no mind. And well, here we are a few years later, fucking fucking many variants later, here the fuck we are. <sighs> Look, I went from being careful to being mindful to just not giving a fuck anymore. Like, I don't I, People go, why are you getting the vaccine, man? You're going to get magnetized, bro. You're, you're, that's how the government is going to track you. I'm sorry. Don't, I'm sorry, moron. Don't you already have a phone? The government already tracks you. Plus, what makes you think you're so interesting that the government wants to, wants to fucking waste time on you? You still live with your fucking parents. Anywho. Anywho, like I got the booster shot recently, and I didn't get the booster shot because oh no, I wanted to be protected from COVID. I've already had COVID in the past. Okay, that's over and done with. The reason why I got the booster shot is very simple. I just want to make my life easier. Okay, I just want the fucking certificate. Okay, so I can get into places easier. That is it. Why did I choose to get vaccinated for convenience sake? Okay, take that as you may. All right, if you want to go kill your parents or the generation that freaking built us, go ahead. Fucking go ahead. Hang on, let me just make sure. This shit's still recording? Yeah, we are still recording. I've been recording for 23 minutes, and what do you freaking know? No goddamn pausing the camera, letting it cool down, resetting it, and then continue with it. This is fucking amazing. It is. It is fucking amazing. Let's head back into audacity. Not audacity, but audition. I just see the AU. Okay, but when it comes to COVID, I think COVID may be entering its final stages. Now, what do I mean by COVID entering its final stages? I don't... When, when, whenever I tell people that, their eyes immediately light up. It's like, oh, we can take off the masks. We, we don't have to go to the scary needle. No, it, it's not like that. COVID is not going to disappear, all right? But I think we are going to just... Mm, I think we are just going to get used to a life with COVID. Okay, let me explain. We've had other pandemics before. Look at the SARS outbreak that happened back in 2003. It eventually affected over 29 countries, but that was nearly 20 fucking years ago. And we haven't seen that virus since. So why the hell is COVID-19 sticking around for so fucking long? Well, 
How long a new virus stays a fucking problem depends on, well, how effective it is at spreading and also infecting new hosts. Hosts, is it very contagious and will always find a new host? If the well, if the answer to both of those questions are yes, well, and then I'm sorry, this virus is here to fucking stay. Again, considering how many people just fucking refuse to wear masks, it's not it's not fucking it's not fucking surprising. So yes, the virus is going to stick around, but some viruses are better at doing this than others. During the SARS outbreak, during the SARS outbreak, for example, one person can infect between one to two people. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, the Delta variant. I don't know much about the Omicron variant. I think it's less contagious. I'm not sure, but. Let's 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 stick to the Delta variant of COVID so far. The Delta variant, the Delta variant. If one person gets infected with this variant, he or she can infect four to five people. Keep in mind, these numbers are only applicable in populations where, well, nobody is immune, there is no immunity, and there are also no guidelines to keep it in check. Since it couldn't infect as many people, the SARS threat was still relatively easy to contain. It also helped that it also helped that you could infect more people. Okay. The only way back, okay, back during the SARS outbreak, the only way you could actually infect a, another person was if you were already sick, okay, if you were already showing symptoms. Unfortunately, this is not the case with COVID. You could be perfectly healthy, but already have the virus like stewing inside of you and, you know, spread it around to other fucking people. You know, I don't know, let's say, I don't know, let's say you're in a foreign country, you decided to tip the taxi driver and he takes that to like his wife and kids. And before you knew it, you freaking massacred an entire an entire generation <laughs> uh, by freaking god but yeah but i think this might i think we might be entering the endemic stage right now the what okay before i get into that endemic okay let me give you another let me give you another, another example the only time in human history where we are we have successfully eradicated a virus was smallpox and that was mostly due to a freaking epic and do a freaking epic vaccination campaign in the late 70s because of this smallpox the freaking thing that killed the native populations of the native population of north and north central and south america and most of the caribbean when the spaniards came when the spaniards and colonists came in general all right we eradicated that that is the only time in human history so far where we have successfully eradicated a virus it is no longer around but then you look at something else look at Look at chickenpox, for example. Every year, people get infected. Every year, people get infected. Uh, it's still around, but still, there are no major outbreak outbreaks because most people on planet Earth, not me, I never had chickenpox, but most people on planet Earth have already built an immunity to this virus since they've had it or some form of it in the past. Okay, we are seeing the same thing happening. It turned into an endemic. Okay, and who knows, we might be seeing the exact same thing happening uh, with COVID right now. We're basically, we're basically so many freaking people have gotten infected into the, and gotten infected to the past. They've already built up a certain, um, certain immunity to it. So if I can just freaking paint a picture for you. Okay, let's say it's, okay, let's say it's an epidemic. An epidemic means the infection rates are slowly getting higher. A pandemic means, and I could be wrong, keep in mind, I could be wrong, folks. A pandemic basically happens when infection rates continue to rise and it also goes over to another country. Then you have a pandemic. An endemic, I think it's called an endemic. In, in Dutch, it's called endemi, endemi, but an endemic, basically the infection, people are still getting infected. But the rates are relatively constant and also let people less and less people get more and more sick. So who knows? Maybe 2022 might be the last year where we'll see, I don't know, I'd say very strict government restrictions about COVID. At least uh, the head of the RIVM in the Netherlands thinks so and thinks so. Uh, the leader of the World Health Organization thinks so. So I don't know. Let's 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 follow let's follow the advice of the eggheads, folks. 
But I don't think people should be, you know, taking this news and just use it as an excuse to just completely throw caution to the wind. There is still a possibility that more dangerous variants can emerge from people constantly infecting from the virus going from one person to another. That risk is still out there. There may be a new variant where none of the vaccines that we have currently made could be effective against. And that is a very real threat. It is. It genuinely is. But yeah, screw it. So yeah, that's all I got for now. (laughs) Tanto bal. I usually try to freaking go take this podcast and, you know, I can't like, I've already like, I just like fucking hammered through my notes. Okay, so listen, this last section of the podcast, I'm just going to freaking freestyle for a little bit. I've had a great 2021. Even though 2021 and 2020 was very bad for people, these have been the two most productive years of my life. I started this podcast. I made Corporal. Okay. Got this decent apartment. So I'm I'm happy with how these last few years have turned out. You know, I'm happy. I'm proud of myself. And I'm proud of also the people. That's not to say that I've done this alone. There have been people who have helped me along the way. But yeah, I've also bought like a shit ton of books in the Netherlands. This is like complete, complete sidetrack over here. Books are a lot cheaper in the Netherlands than in comparison to here. I've already read through 48 Laws of Power. I'm reading it. I'm reading through it one more time, uh, you know, just to let that knowledge sink in. But I have also gotten a brief history of time and also another book called This Is How They Tell Me The World Will End. Who knows, maybe by next podcast, I'll do like a little book review of them. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to stop this podcast for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. I don't know. I don't usually fucking end. It's weird ending the first podcast like this. And I've, and I've only been talking for about what? 31? Yeah, 31 minutes and 30 seconds. But I am happy with it. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys stay safe out there. Stay safe. Stay awesome. And stay hydrated. This is Stan the Man signing off. 